What's up everybody? I'm here in Manhattan somewhere, 3rd Avenue and East 22 Street and I'm going to an event and I bumped into another YouTuber. What's your name? Hey, what's up? I'm Gabe. And he's got his camera out too because we're headed to an event. Now, this is supposed to be a big deal, okay? So we're, we're, we're going to see. Let's go inside. Take a look. Are you ready? All right. Hello. Hello. Well, that looks like footage from the actual. That's in New Zealand. If that's the footage, that looks pretty good, especially on a big TV. Nice. Nice. That Pro Max, huh? With uh, S1, our user love is ease of you, affordable design, lightweight, and uh, auto following feature. But they also want better flight time faster flight performance and better camera quality we listened so with pro it now uh, should in 4k 60 frames per second and battery life improvement is 16 minutes it's Versus? around 40 percent than the x1 like, this one 11 minutes yeah. okay. so it's around 40 11, yeah 40 yeah, percent um it can support um sd card up to one terabyte are you wow that's pretty cool it has a rear side active collision detection with a nice English that accent. Same voice, yeah. yeah. How do you change the modes? Oh, just tap it. Using the select buttons. Oh. At the side. And then when you want to fly, what just do you do? Just press the power button, the, the middle oh, one. Okay. Talking about the, the image quality, I think I will introduce you the Pro Max. Okay. So now it has it has larger image sensor. Yeah. Uh, we have a seven layer custom lens. Uh, it's 107. Uh, field of view, okay, so it's a uh, very yeah. wide, it's yeah. especially for flying camera. It's 8K in 30 FPS. It's 8K again. Uh, previously, I don't think any consumer flying no. drone has this feature. What about slow mo? It's yeah. four, 4K 120. It also supports 4K 60 um, HDR uh, with a 10 bit LG format. Okay. So seamlessly integrated into your your workflow i guess and uh you said 10 bit hlg yeah 10 bit hlg no. 14 stops dynamic range um what about weight differences it's Between one gram them. heavier than this one it's 192.5 right it's 191.5 right? and the original 125 125. Okay, not bad. It's lighter than my oh. iPhone, to be honest. Is there a flight time difference between the Pro and the Max? The same. A Pro user can buy a Pro Max battery and put it there. Uh, this is what we call thermal smart battery. Yeah. So it allows you to fly under a uh, minus four Fahrenheit. Yeah. When you are skiing, it's, yeah, it's yeah, minus no, four. Know, yeah. yeah. Ah, so skiers, you know what you gotta get. Yes. Those thermal batteries. So uh, you can uh, simultaneously charge two batteries. Um, so 45 minutes to fully charge one, uh, 60 minutes to fully charge both. What I have here is uh, a must-have companion device for uh, any hover users. So it's called Beacon. Basically, uh, it allows a real-time video transmission up to one kilometer. It also activates what we call hover link. Hover link really uh, activates a signal uh, between uh, the flying camera and the beacon. So uh, it never lose track of you. You are a biker. You just we have a handlebar mount there, so you just put it there. You never need to look back to check if the camera is following you. Mm. Yeah, it's a real time video just. One of my favorite drones was the Falcon V copter. Oh yeah. Any uh, any hope that that uh, camera gets an upgrade? <laughs> Maybe to one Ask of those. Ask that guy. <laughs> Ten feet. Zoom out. Thank you. 
want to have more fun, just clip it on. That's the one-handed controller with a uh, haptic feedback yeah. motion control. So very easy, you do things like that. Okay. If you even want to have more control, you can turn it to a full-fledged two-handed controller. Right? And, and apply um, the conventional way? Yeah, and then you can put your smartphone there. I can show you uh, later as well the real-time video transmission. It's compatible with X X1 as well. Okay. Wow, yeah. that is interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, so they can buy it uh, separately. Separately. Yeah, it has yeah. ND filters. It, 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 uh, it can fly on the streaming code. Do yeah. the ND filters work on both the Pro and the Max? Pro and Pro Max, yeah. Okay. But not, but not, but not the X1. Yeah. Physically, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. so, you want the camera to be lighter, so you, you don't want to put yeah. a gigantic battery there. But it adds up 40 minutes uh, flight time with the power case. It also has thermal icon here yeah. so it, it works under four uh, fahrenheit so okay. whenever say you're skiing you yeah. five minutes you're down here you're waiting for the chairlift and gondola yeah. just slide it in like very easily and it will charge automatically right and oh, when and you're on after i think 10 minutes once yeah. you're on top of the hill it's ready to, ready to go with no wake-up time um instantly just like how you use it well, so it stays on but stays on all the time Pro is four nine nine. Yes, sorry. Okay. This one is six nine nine. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that's more. That's for Pro Max yeah. users. Yeah. Yeah. That seems about right. Though. Though. We are launching back on Indiegogo, yeah. up to forty percent off for the first wow. forty hours um, orders. As a as a token, I think thank you to our supporters uh, on yeah. Indiegogo. Yeah. I'm pretty here. Right. So now it'll track you and record audio. Yeah, with AI based noise cancellation as well. the material guard that's used to protect the propellers so I'm gonna break it right now I'm just gonna what the f <laughs> careful though ah. <laughs> ow look at my finger look at that look at that jeez this thing is strong it is strong yeah, both <laughs> fingers are like mangled over here what the heck and what type of material did you say this was <laughs> Hyper elastic material. Hyper elastic material. Now, you need this in your life, okay? You need some protection so when you hit the walls, you don't break. You got it? This is nice. Well done. Well done, Hover. The new X1 Pearl and Max both have two access gimbals with image stabilization, EIS, versus the older X1, which only has a one access gimbal and EIS. I really had a fun time at this event. I was just invited. There's no payment going on with regards to me being here. And Zero Zero Robotics did promise to send me these hover drones once they debut on Indiegogo and they start receiving orders. So I will get it ahead of time. I will make reviews unpaid reviews that you will see at the same time that hover will see but i must say i'm excited about this tech especially the 8k model that shoots hyper log gamma also if you're looking for luts for your drones head over to www.dronexfactor.com i've got a ton of luts for you there so i will definitely keep you guys posted make sure you hit like subscribe thumbs up and all that fun stuff and i will catch you guys well whenever i can